Hi everyone. So this is Ravi again. Welcome back to my 18th YouTube session on Azure DevOps. So in this session, I'm going to cover the topic called dashboards. So I have received a lot of requests from my YouTube subscribers to explain about the dashboards and different charts and trends that we can create in the dashboards to showcase to the management. Okay, so based on their request, I'm doing this particular session. So this topic I'm going to cover in two YouTube sessions. So this is my first YouTube session where I'll be explaining some concepts and I will be publishing another YouTube session shortly in a week to explain the remaining concepts. So our agenda items for today's Azure DevOps dashboard session. I'm going to explain you about dashboards, charts, reports and widgets. And also I'm going to show you how can we configure the dashboards for a given project in Azure DevOps. Basically, I'm going to explain how can we create multiple dashboards for a given project in Azure DevOps. And also I'm going to create the charts to track the work and also to see the trends of your work and also I'm going to show you how to create different charts to track your manual testing progress and to see the results of your manual testing and to see the trends of your manual testing. I'm going to explain you about the widgets like sprint charts widgets and other chart widgets like burn down charts velocity charts, capacity charts, cumulative charts and different other charts. I'm going to create you and show you how can we create all these different types of charts in a dashboard. So let me cover some theoretical part before we start creating the charts and dashboards in Azure DevOps. So about dashboards, charts, reports and widgets. So dashboards are customizable interactive signboards that provide real time information and dashboards are associated with a team or a project. So what does it mean? Basically, whenever you create a dashboard with charts, reports and widgets, the charts and reports will be updated with the real time information every time. So whenever you refresh if you not refresh, the real time information will be reflected in your charts or reports. And also you can create a dashboard corresponding to your team or you can create a dashboard corresponding to a project. So charts are either query based status or trend charts derived from a work item query or test results. That means we will be creating charts going forward by using query based status that means you can use a query to create a chart so i'm going to show you how to create okay so for now you just we are we are going to concentrate on just theoretical part so widgets what do you mean by widgets so in the dashboard we will be creating charts reports and everything in the form of widgets so you will have a widget catalog which provides the brief description of those widgets that are available. Widgets are also available in Azure DevOps Marketplace. So I'm going to show you how to we how to add the widgets. And also we have in context reports. That means the system generated charts that support a specific service. Examples team velocity sprint down burn down charts cumulative flow diagrams test failure reports these are all actually generated by a system and you can generate these charts in your dashboard and these reports are displayed on the analytics tab for a specific service and derive data from analytics now i'm gonna walk you through the actual Azure DevOps application and 
I will show you how can we create the dashboards. First of all, before we go to the application, what is configurable dashboards? With dashboards, you can configure an array of charts and widgets. That means you can add multiple charts and widgets in a given dashboard. Each team can add and configure multiple dashboards to share the information, to view the status, progress and trends and access quick links and other functions. And you can easily add and rearrange the widgets on the dashboard to show the recent changes made to view build status, bug trends and more. Okay, so now let us go to Azure DevOps application and see how can we add these dashboards. So here is my Azure DevOps tenant where I have a project called e-commerce. Okay, so let me explain how can we create a dashboard or multiple dashboards for e-commerce project. Okay, so for that you will be clicking on e-commerce project and then so if you go to dashboards so currently I have a dashboard so this is how the dashboard looks like you, you can just glance so I'll just explain you um, soon how can we create all these graphs okay in this session so it is very useful session so most of the people who are subscribed to my channel so everyone asked me to prepare a session on these dashboards okay so so if you go to this navigation pane right and then click on browse all dashboards so where you can see all the dashboards but anyway so before you create any dashboards you will not see any dashboards here for the first time so how to create a dashboard you need to click on new dashboard and then enter the name of the dashboard let's see youtube session one board one okay and so there are two types of dashboards one is team dashboard that means this dashboard will be associated with a single team let's assume in your project you have multiple teams called testing team, development team, business analyst team, for example. So if a dashboard is assigned to a testing team, that dashboard can be visible to only testing team. If you assign the dashboard to development team, that dashboard will be visible to only development team. Okay. So for now, let me select a team dashboard. Okay. What is the team? I have one team called e-commerce team and development team. Let me select e-commerce team and click on create. So as soon as you click on create, your dashboard will be visible. So this is the way you can browse again all the dashboards. So if I see I have one, two, three, total three dashboards under a team, right? So if you want to create another dashboard, you can just click here so this time I would like to select a development team okay dev team and create okay so if you see here it has a development team this dashboard is associated to the development team so again if I browse all the dashboards I can see the development team dashboard also under dev team right so how can you delete the dashboard you just need to click on this small navigation pane more actions delete confirm delete in the same way if i want to delete a dashboard from dev team click on delete and delete okay so now hope you understand how do we create a dashboard okay now as I showed you, how can you create a skeleton of dashboard? Basically, how can you add multiple dashboards for a given project?
team level dashboards and project level dashboards okay so now what content do we need to add in the dashboard what are all the different charts what are all the different trends that you want to track as a project manager as a team lead that you have to decide first okay and then once you get the list of all the charts trends pivot tables that you want to showcase to the management then you need to start building the different charts okay so in building the charts there are different types of charts so first let me explain the charts that you can use to track the status and trends and you can create these types of charts by using flat list queries so you can create various charts to monitor status progress and trends with these query based charts okay to get started with this charts first we need to understand what is the query and how can we build a shared queries in azure devops once you build the shared queries in the azure devops and then we have to create different charts that is required for the project okay so let me show in the azure devops right now how to create shared queries and then how can we use those shared queries to create a corresponding charts okay so we are in azure devops uh, application okay and this is my project called e-commerce under e-commerce we are in dashboard section okay so now let me create queries first shared queries so that i can use those shared queries to build some type of charts where i can see the status and trends okay so how to create the queries go to boards under boards you will have a sub menu called queries okay click on these queries and here you need to basically click on new query or if you want to access all the queries existing queries you click on all okay so i already built some existing queries anyway okay so but anyway so now i have created a separate folder called youtube training queries so i whatever the queries we build we are going to store them in this particular uh, doc, uh, in this particular folder okay so first let me click on create new query okay to create a new query click on new query and then first of all i want to basically build a query to see the number of bugs that are raised by the testers okay so now what is my work item type my work item type is bug okay select bug and what is the state i want to track everything basically either it is open new done completed whatever okay so that's why i want to get the list of all the bugs that are existing in this particular project okay so that means this is my query and click on run query so as soon as you click on run query it is going to basically give you all the list of bugs that are existing in the project now we are going to we are going to save this query okay let me save the query as bugs okay where do you want me to save i want to save this under shared queries under youtube everyone keep in mind we should not store the queries in my queries if you want to use this query for the dashboard it is mandatory to store the queries under shared queries okay so let me select this as youtube which is which is under shared queries okay and then click okay so as soon as you save the query if you go back to your shared queries again okay if you go back here i can see the new query that just now we saved i can see here okay now how can i use this okay before before going ahead let me also create another query okay new query i want this time get the list of all the requirements let me requirements means it's a product backlog items and also 
I want to get the list of bugs as well. Okay. So that means R, I'll be selecting R and I'm going to select again work item type is bug. That means what I'm saying and I want to add a state Okay, let me add. I think we need not to add any state actually. Okay, so that means I want to retrieve the list of all the product backlog items and bugs that are in scope for the project. Right, run query. So now if you see, I am I am getting all the list of bugs and product backlogs. Correct. So I want to save this query now. Okay, save requirements and bugs okay so let me save this click on okay right so so now we have saved both the queries so let me go back again to youtube training queries if you see here i have both the queries now how can we use these two queries which we built create charts in dashboards okay so let me go back to dashboards now okay so observe clearly okay this is very important topic so here i want to create charts in new dashboard called youtube session dashboard okay so now here to create any chart first you have to click on add widget okay and now because i want to actually create a chart based on the queries okay for that let's say i want to create a chart for work items okay so i'll be selecting chart for work items and click on add as soon as you click on add this widget will be added to your dashboard okay so let me click on add see the widget is added to dashboard now how can you configure this widget you need to click on gear icon as soon as you click on gear icon it will show you the right side the configuration window so you can adjust the height and width if you see i made it as three the width got increased if i increase the three so width of the widget got increased basically you can adjust the width of the widget by selecting width and height okay and here if you see i have an option called query so i want to if you see here the queries whatever that is being shown here are only shared queries but not the private queries okay so expand these shared queries i can see there are two queries so just now we created two queries here okay this one and this one okay so let me just first select bugs i want to create a chart to see the defect status that means how many defects are new how many defects are in approved status how many defects are in done status etc right so for that i'll be selecting bugs and i want to create let's assume a column chart okay so what is the chart type i want to create you can select even pie chart column chart whatever so let me select column chart for now and group by state i want to group by state and okay so let me change the color of this you can change the color of each bar also you can customize the bar color okay so now if you see here and click on save and click on done editing okay so if you see here i can see there are six bugs that are in done state there are one there is one bug which is in new state and there is one bug which is in approved state for testing team to start testing and development team to start testing okay so this is how you can create if you want to edit let's assume i want to create this particular chart in a pie model basically pie chart okay for that i want to modify this how you click on edit button 
on the uh, dashboard and then again you have to click on gear icon for the widget okay so as soon as click so let me change this to pie chart so as soon as I change pie chart and save it you will have your pie chart okay so it's done how many done how many new new how many approved okay done so now let's assume I want to create another graph where I want to show the work items basically how many work items are there totally in my project and these work items are distributed to what are all the resources basically how many resources are available in our in our project and the distribution of the work is proper or not okay so for that I have to add another graph where it will show the resource name and the work items that are assigned to the resource name okay again if I want to add a new widget as I said earlier click on edit and then again you have to select the widget type that you want to add so this is your widget pane okay basically the type of widget that you want to add so you will have a lot and lot on list very big list if you want to add other widgets you can do it from marketplace as well okay so now again I want to add a chart for work items okay click on add and again click on gear icon so now this time I want to select a query the second query that we built okay what is the second query the second query is requirement and bugs okay and I want to create a bar chart here this time but now this time I want to group by resource okay that means assigned to okay and let me change these colors okay little bit okay so that it will be easy for you to understand okay and click on save and click on done if you see here I can see the Ravikant has been assigned with six work items Shrikant has been assigned with four work items Sudharani has been assigned with four work items but there is one or one work item which is not assigned right so this is how you can track your work assigned to the resources you can track the resource load okay now I want to create another chart where I want to see the state status of each work item right so what is how many work items are there in our project and what is the progress of those work items are we progressing or not okay how can we do that again you go to same chart for work items click on add and click on your gray icon this time again I want to select a query that we have created the second query requirements and bugs now I want to select a group by a state okay and I want to show this in a column chart okay and then let me change the color of these so default colors yes you can keep default colors but I want to change the color so that it will be easily visible okay click on save and click on done editing if you see here so currently I have so these many requirements out of which eight requirements are done and there are three requirements that are in new state that means we have not yet started any work and there are two work items that are committed that means we are committed to start working on those work items approved so that means these two work items are approved for further action items right for further action right so this is how you can create the charts based on the queries that you built based on the shared queries that you built hope you understand the query based charts hope you all understand the concepts whatever I covered till now so I'll be covering remaining concepts in YouTube session 2 hope you all 
had a great time so please subscribe to my channel if you have any queries don't forget to send your comments in the comment box thank you